So this is the Shoreview Drive Culvert Improvement Project meeting, uh, also known as the Shoreview at Farmer Drive Hazardous Road Overtopping Mitigation Project. And I just want to thank everybody for attending tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Michael Wellbaum. I'm the project manager for this meeting or for this project. And with us tonight is Misty Christian. Um, she is with Kimley Horn and Associates. She has Nick with her as well. The two of them were responsible for putting the plans together and getting this job designed, and they did a great job. So thank you very much, guys, for your, for your hard work. Uh, also with us tonight is our contractor on this project. His name is, is Kurt Hansen. He's with IBC Texas or IBC TX uh, LLC. They're a bridge and culvert contracting company. They were the low bidder on this job. And uh, I'm very excited to, to have them on this job. So far, we've, we've had a great relationship and I look forward to a, a very successful project from, from everyone. Um, tonight, I just have a few things I wanna go over. I'll give a quick project background uh, and then we'll, I'll talk a little bit about the project scope um, and most importantly, the traffic control plans for this job. Um, and as we're going through that, we'll talk a little bit about construction. Um, and then at the end, I'll, I'll answer any questions you have. But there's a chat window. If you think of a question you want to ask, please put it in the chat window or jot it down. And at the end, I'll open the floor for any questions that you may have. So let's get started. So this project, uh, is located at Shoreview Drive, right, uh, just to the west of Bomber Drive. Uh, there's a little, a little stretch of Lake Worth that touches the, the downstream end of our project. Uh, actually, right now, it touches the upstream end, too. I understand the lake's up a little bit. Um, but that's the location where this, this project is. There's a uh, existing set of small diameter pipe culverts uh, at that location, and we're gonna replace those with large boxes uh, to handle the flow. There's a, a pretty significant drainage area to the south uh, and also to the to the east from, from the Lockheed Martin facility, all of which drain through that, that culvert crossing. Uh, and at times it has created a condition where the road has overtopped um, and, and certainly has the potential to do that again. So, that's been the impetus behind this project is to, to reduce the hazard to uh, roadway overtopping at that location. You'll see that we have a schedule, a milestone schedule. It's just a real basic schedule that we've been working on. Um, I was happy to add another check mark to that schedule and we're now down to construction start. Uh, I believe we'll be breaking ground in June. Uh, we've got all the contracts signed um, in the process of getting a purchase order issued. We'll have pre-construction meeting uh, likely in the next couple of weeks and a notice to proceed. So I expect about mid-June uh, that, that we'll start seeing some construction activity out there on the project site. Um, I do have the project slated to go through December of 2021, but the bulk of the work will be done. Uh, likely long before that, they'll just be cleaning up and some last minute pieces, so I really don't expect uh, that this project will extend that far with any major disruption. The project scope is um, basically, as I said, there are some existing culvert pipes uh, that run under the pavement, and we're going to replace those with new box culverts. You can see the kind of the bluish color that runs in, in towards the lake. Uh, right in the middle of the road. Those are new box culverts. They'll be 10 by 10 boxes um, that, that will be constructed at that location with head walls uh, on either side. Um, there will be retaining walls on the oh. upstream side uh, that will allow for access down into the channel so maintenance crews can go in. Uh, if you're in that area, you know there's there's a little driveway that comes off the road at that location right now. It's it's pretty rough, uh, but that is the access way to get down into the to the channel. Uh, at the end, there will be new guardrails uh, put up on the project. We're extending the culverts uh, far enough on the north side to allow for a future uh, trail or a sidewalk. I don't know if anything's planned at the moment. 
uh, maybe some long range planning has something in there, but we've definitely left room for uh, additional um, uh, expansion if needed. Uh, then we'll also, at the end, we'll, we'll relocate some utility lines. You see the water and the sewer that run uh, east and west down the, the roadway. Those will be re relayed, reconnected, and then we'll pay, put paving over, new pavement over the project area. Uh, that's generally the scope of this project. It should go fairly quickly. Um, it's, it's not a tremendous amount of work and it's all isolated and located just right there at the culvert crossing. Um, to do all of this work, we will have the road closed during construction. <clears throat> and so we have a detour plan set up where uh, essentially, uh, rather than being able to go through from, from Shoreview Drive from east to west or west to east, uh, the detour route will take you down to Silver Creek Road uh, to get in and out um, if you're coming off of 820. We've coordinated this with Lockheed Martin. Uh, they they are um, they are aware of the project and they don't see a, a foresee a, an issue with this um, temporary detour that we're going to do. The detour will probably last. I'm going to guess two months, maybe three, but it'll be a, it'll be an extended period of time while they're working. Uh, we've also coordinated with Lake Worth. They're they're aware of this, uh, and this and their project is complete. The project they had on Clifford uh, and Bomber and, and uh, along that stretch is is done. So this shouldn't pose a problem for from their perspective either. That is uh, pretty much all I have to go over tonight. So I'm going to open the floor to questions. Uh, but again, my name is Michael Wellbaum. I'm the project manager on this uh, project. My number is 817-832-0746. And my email address is michael.wellbaum, that's W-E-L-L-B-A-U-M, at fortworthtexas.gov. So Eddie, you have a, a something that says save some of the CCC work. What can you can you explain that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, currently, and you may be muted. Yeah, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Currently, uh, on the upstream side of what's there now is some old headwall work that was built by the CCC back in the day. I was just wondering if we could save some of that some portions of that and use other places. Uh, and by me and other places, there is a yeah. area over by the National Guard and I'd had to coordinate with a park department, but there's an area where people pull in to dump. I was just wondering if we could take uh -huh. some of that rock work and, and get them to stack it in there, you know, to, um, to create a barricade or something. Yeah, I, I'm glad you brought that up. So. Uh, the wall that is visible from the roadside that runs yes. right along the roadway, yes. we're going to remove that wall and salvage it, store it, and then at the end of the project, that wall will be reconstructed um, to approximate the look that it has now. Um, so okay. when you drive down the road in the future, you'll see the same uh, the same wall. There will be a guardrail between the road and the wall because that wall is really not um, going to stop a vehicle the way it is. But uh, that wall will be constructed. Now there is the possibility of um, some ad additional rock work that goes down the back face of the wall. Uh, we'd have to coordinate with the contractor on that. I don't know if any of that would be salvageable, but it's possible they could stockpile it somewhere for for someone to use later. Okay. So that sounds, I can certainly talk to them about it. Sure, that sounds good. They they have this the park department has areas around the lake where they have placed big stones uh you know off the shoulder of the road, you know, to keep people from dumping and stuff. So you know any mm -hmm. anything that we would place, you know, along the road that I'd ha I would have to coordinate with the park department. Just listen to some folks to the conference call. How you doing? Oh, brother. Very good. We'll, uh, uh, I'll make a note to, uh, and I'll follow up with the contractor and, and, um, 
And Eddie, I believe I have your contact information so I can reach yes, out sir. to you separately. Okay. Are there any other questions tonight? Yeah, I just did all my shredding. I'm sorry, say that again. Bill, I'm not sure if you are, are you asking a question or or is we were you just picking up some background noise. Well, if there are no further questions uh, this evening, this is uh, this has been recorded and I believe it will be posted on the city's website with, along with the uh, other information about this project. So if you want to refer back to it in the future, you certainly can. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, again, here's my contact information if you need it. Michael Wellbaum, 817-832-0746. Thank you all for, for attending tonight and we'll look forward to a good construction project and get this thing wrapped up and get a new new culvert in. Thank you. So thank you all for attending tonight.